The Thunder Bay District Health Unit is warning of an increased risk for Lyme disease due to an early start to the tick season. Some local residents have posted on social media saying they've already seen ticks, even though it's not even spring yet. Ken Deacon is the coordinator of the Health Unit's Vector Borne Disease Program. He says the mild winter created the perfect environment for ticks to flourish. The ones shown here are a female and male wood tick, which do not carry Lyme disease. Deacon also explains the difference between a wood tick on the left and the black-legged tick on the right that does transmit Lyme disease. He says it's even more important this spring to check yourself and your pets after venturing into the bush. What we're going to see is, uh, because the season starts earlier, that means that the, the population of the black-legged tick is going to have a, a longer growing season. Um, often uh, we have part of the population that's in the adult stage by this time of the year. I think we're going to see uh, the other, the, the second stage of the tick uh, being able to mature into adulthood as well. There are three stages in the tick's life and the second stage is the one that's smaller, harder to find and uh, is known to be the major transmitter of Lyme disease.